Hi, everyone. My guest today is Paula from Switzerland. Paula is a postdoc fellow in chemistry, and Paula is, is living in Switzerland. She's originally from Colombia. So welcome, Paula. How are you? How, how, how have you been all this time? Hello. Uh, thank you for introducing me and for inviting me to this program. I'm okay at the moment, uh, getting uh, used to the routine in the quarantine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I know I know that you mentioned, you know, in our notes that you're living alone in Switzerland. Um, so yeah, walk me, walk us through that experience of living in Switzerland, being away from your family. Well, I think it has been challenging at the moment because, of course, I arrived in Switzerland one year and three months ago. I was before in Germany and in the UK doing my PhD, and then I moved here and I have to rebuild my life, uh, making some friends and getting used to the hobbies and the culture here. And then now with this uh, break that we have from science, I mean, we are still working in science, but not, of course, in the labs, for example, then life becomes a little bit challenging. So it, it hasn't been easy to accommodate to this. Yeah, I, I can I can imagine. And so I because I so I happened to talk somebody in the morning from Italy. Um so I, I, I talked to an incredible woman from Italy this morning and, and I know that she was telling me how difficult things were, you know, the minute uh, the quarantine happened. And I'm imagining that's the same case in Switzerland too. Yes, we are in lockdown. Uh, it has been now official for two weeks. And mm -hmm. uh, we are allowed to go out uh, for groceries, uh, to the pharmacy or to the doctor or to work if we need to. Uh, but of course, uh, we have uh, social distancing and uh, our personal lives are not proceeding as usual because we cannot meet people or we should not meet people and uh, we are afraid from the virus. So even if you meet a neighbor in the street or something, people are putting their distance and it feels very weird yeah. because everyone treats you like you are infected and we don't even know if we are infected <laughs> I know I can I can so relate to that because I I am right now in the US and US is you know it's like uh, unfortunately the cases over here are increasing every single day yes. and I live in Michigan and even Michigan we are locked down for now I think it's it's the second week um mm. and I'm craving human connection because I don't see anybody waving at me I don't see me you know I'm waving at somebody else so it's like I'm really you know craving that human connection of you know, walking up to them and asking, how are you, how are they doing? So yeah, I, I, it's, it's a struggle and it's, it's amazing that how much we can, you know, uh, miss that human connection. Yeah, of course. And of course, when you don't see your colleagues anymore on a daily basis, I mean, they, your colleagues play a role not only scientifically, but socially. So you have a break, you talk to them, you say hello, how was your weekend, what did you do last night? But now that you are alone, you have anyone to ask and no, no one is asking you what you do. It's kind of uh, strange. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is. It is very strange. Um, so, how are you? How are I, I know. I know you've written that uh, we were as we were talking, you know, previously that you you told me that you are enjoying your academic writing as you are living alone. So, how are how are you dealing? You know, staying alone. What 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 is what is keeping you sane uh, in all of this time? Well, I think that's. Uh, I, I mean. I am still struggling at the moment with the idea of being locked down. <laughs> uh, yeah. But I think what keeps me alive in this, like my spirit, uh, because of course you can be living biologically, but you have to keep your spirit alive too. And what, mm. is, what is helping is, uh, of course, science. So I have a couple of important deadlines at the moment that I have to meet. So writing scientifically is helping a lot. I'm also helping in, in interviews uh, for people who just move abroad and don't know how to deal with their situations, especially in a lockdown. So with the experience of living abroad, I can also be helpful for them and inspiring. I'm also uh, dancing at home in the morning because I'm Latin, so we need to dance. So I wake up and I dance for half an hour. Uh, although it's not as easy as I do it uh, when 
things are normal and the connection with people not only personally but also scientifically online i mean when i am struggling when i am struggling with the writing i just drop a message in a writing group uh or in an academic group and people immediately mm. come to you on skype and are like okay let's do it together so you are strangers but you are there working together so i think yeah. seeing the generosity and the warmth of of people is very important because you definitely feel uh, that you are not alone you know what i mean this is a national yeah. like, like a, not a national but a global problem and also the planet is healing because yeah. we are stopping so also you see that this is a catastrophic phenomena but when you look at the numbers of how the the animals and the and the atmosphere is recovering you have to also to feel some comfort inside because this what we are doing is helping us to overcome this not for now but also for the long term yeah i i i so much agree with that that mother earth is healing and unfortunately you know this was the way um you know we human beings has to deal with this um this i mean it's i mean i, I wish there was there, there was a much easier way <laughs> there was a there yeah. was a much funnier way and easier way for mothers to heal and yes. not a virus pandemic uh but but yeah but it looks like you know that that all the things we which we have done as a human being for so many years you know it it it, it feels like that you know it's it's a payback time um and it's yeah it's it's certainly uncertain times and it's it's a moment of crisis so um so what 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 are you doing with or like regarding boosting your immune system are you taking any vitamins or um what what with that yes well i before the this uh, pandemic situation i had low iron and low vitamin d so they recharged me with iron infusion and they gave me vitamin d in drops and i'm taking vitamin b uh, pills and i am also preparing shakes every morning with a lot of vitamin c so berries um you know like citrix and keeping the system like that i was also in the beginning eating better i think with the time i'm eating less because you are not as active so you don't need as much mm. food as before so also that is important that you don't get overweight because if you are not moving as much and if you are not as active you can go to the other side that is eating too much and mm. not the calories so i also i don't keep an eye on that it just happen um, normally but definitely shakes full of vitamin c is something that i am doing every day and keeping hydrated all the time um yeah. sleeping at least 7 hours a day and um releasing anxiety because cortisol um levels in blood are not what you want so mm -hmm. sleeping and and having breaks and and kind of not controlling your mind but finding peace in the middle of the situation mm -hmm. is important so whatever a hobby talking with friends um doing um something manual uh, doing i don't know even skin care whatever that makes you relax because this This is a situation that we are in alert all the time. This is completely normal. But if we reach the levels when we cannot rest, the immune system will mm. only go down. So yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. That's 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 a great advice to do what you feel right for you. Um, you know, it can be skin care, it can be just dancing around, or it can be um, you know, whatever whatever makes you feel uh better in this moment. uh choose that thing right so that's that's incredible and 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 i imagine you because you're away from your family and i remember um in one of the group somebody was feeling homesick because they were they were living alone um so what is what is the advice for people like those you know who are students or who are away from their family in in this lockdown I think at this moment being away from my family at least how i saw it because my parents are both in the high risk group and i have a very uh, little nephew with just weeks of 
being born. And of course, the idea in the beginning was to run back to your family because you want to pass these hard times with your family. You want to help them, you want to see them, you want to hug them. But I realized that uh, I, and I'm advising everyone that this is an act of kindness and love when you don't know if you are contaminated. And if you go back home, especially on a, like to a country that doesn't have the resources to battle this pandemic, pandemic because Colombia at least doesn't have the infrastructure like Italy, mm -hmm. Germany, or Switzerland has. So more cases will only put pe more people in hot water. So we shouldn't do that. So what I feel every day is that I rationally made the right decision I am having here my job. I can help mm. my family from here. I can help them with money or with support. I, I make the decision of not contaminating neither them nor my citizens fellows. And just mm. as a love act that we are here representing our countries and our family and we keep doing it and we keep working, we keep writing, we keep doing whatever we need to do to overcome this and to show that we are high quality people and that we are focused and we are still useful for society. So I think homesickness is important, but the main goal, why you are in another country, what was mm. the situation that brought you to that country and why you are thankful to that country is what is the main view in this moment and you have to keep in mind that you are here for or there for a reason reason and that reason is the most important at the moment plus the love that you have for your loved ones and being you in an unstable situation at the moment is what makes also your family stable so being homesick is is normal is we are humans mm. and we are under environmental stress because of the culture because of the language because of emotions but we are also strong and we have to keep calling us to high performance in the, at the moment because we are doing the right thing. This is what mm. keeps me going. I, I love that. I love that what you just said that even if you are away from your family, you know, alone, even if you're a student and you're like, you know, I wish I was, you know, in my home country, don't yes. lose the sight of the big why of what, what brought you in a, in, a, in a foreign country or whatever was that reason. Do not lose that big why. And, and as you said that, it's, it's so important to keep in mind that, you know, going back to your home can be so much um, dangerous for your family and you can contaminate the other elderly person in your family. So I, I, I love that advice that do not lose the reason why you are away from your family and keep building on it. Yes. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. So anything, anything else, Paula, you want to share with our listeners? Well, I want to share something else, and is that, um, I, I don't know, I, many people are abroad because they went for high-performing jobs or for high-performing positions, uh, education. You know, actually, you go alone because you want to challenge yourself and, and you want to do your best. Uh, then many spots, like my, myself, are under working conditions that expect the best from us, but we are mm -hmm. in a lockdown. So something that really helped me was to understand that we can also have a little break to kind of get used to the situation and to accommodate. Because mm -hmm. we were not born to be in a lockdown. We were not mm -hmm. born to be um, private from, from going for a walk or we are not used to see everyone as a focus on infection and you know we are not used to think that you can be dangerous if you are two meters uh, closer you know like we don't think like that so I think just leave your brain rest don't don't demand more than what the brain and your heart and your emotions can handle give room for um, for um, the the accommodation to the new situation and to to let your own system tell you what you need. So if one of the days you feel like cleaning your house is what you need to do, it makes sense because now your house is your working place too. So everything has to be more organized than usual. Mm -hmm. And if one day you feel at three o'clock that you need a nap, maybe you need a nap because if you nap then you get a migraine because you are overthinking. Mm. So just do what, not 
take it as holidays, but think like we all deserve a break right now. And don't demand from other people much because other people are struggling. I mean, maybe you and I are, are struggling for homesickness or being abroad, but maybe the local fellow that you have next to you is struggling because he has a respiratory condition. So right, right. Yeah. No one is in a better situation now. So yeah, no, that that's that's no, that's 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 great that that's that's great that uh don't compare yourself with the rest of the people because everybody is having their own way of handling this thing um and yeah that's 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 awesome um i think yeah i i, I love what you said Paula, and and i i wish you all the best um thank you stay much. safe yeah stay thank safe you. I wish and you the best too and thank you for sharing the experience i'm sure it will help many people Thank you so much for uh, coming up, and uh, I, you know what, I, I, I was, I was telling the the lady in the morning who was from Italy that I cannot wait for world to get normal again, um, <laughs> you know, and and I know that everybody in this world, you know, the seven point five billion people on this planet are right now waiting for the world to get normal, but at the same time, this this up uh, this thing has given me an opportunity to connect with women like you. So yes. I'm I'm seeing you know I'm seeing it in in a, in a brighter side even though there is not much brighter side to all this situation, but again uh, you know I cannot wait the world to get normal and and when it does I would love to reconnect with you okay till then take care and okay, yeah thank and you stay very safe much. okay keep safe okay thank you thanks ciao ciao